Hey, hey everyone. We had a request to, for a video that shows you how to do Merchant Fulfill um, because a lot of people have only done FBA and we have never been a huge advocate for doing um, Merchant Fulfill items, but in these crazy times that have changed, Merchant Fulfilling right now seems to be a little bit faster than shipping things FBA. So this is, this is just gonna be a short tutorial on number one, how to set up your shipping templates. It, you can have multiple shipping templates for different items and different things, and, and the reason why we do that. And then adding an item that's Merchant Fulfill is as simple as can be. So I'm just gonna walk you through those two things. The number one reason why you, wanna have, you might wanna have multiple shipping settings or shipping templates is because you have either lightweight items or certain items that might be heavier and of course you want to add specific things to that so for example if anything's first class mail it's under 14 ounces or more or it's something that can fit you know you want to offer free shipping for that you can have a free shipping template which basically means you're building shipping into your price and you want to make sure that you're just offering free shipping all the time. Like some people like that, some people don't, but the price obviously goes up. If you don't want to worry about that and you just want to charge shipping, which right now people are seem to be completely fine with, then in making sure that you don't, you know, cut your own throat is having one that's that's weight based um, so that you can add a specific um, dollar or price amount per pound so that you don't end up cutting your own throat and losing a bunch of money on shipping. I know from Michigan to California it costs a lot more money to ship things there based on size and weight than it does um, to just ship something in my region. So of course using priority mail, um, prepaid, um, like flat rate, I'm sorry, not prepaid, flat rate type items are really helpful to be able to get those free from the post office. You can order them at usps.com for free. They'll deliver them to your house. So you can use flat rate items. I find sometimes though that it's a little less expensive to um, ship things priority ma mail cubic. And so that's my own packaging and things like that. Now your results may vary depending on what you're shipping. I and mean, if you're shipping a vacuum versus something smaller. So you wanna have multiple shipping templates if you don't always want to offer free shipping which for me free shipping can vary if it's under if it's not first class meaning under 15 ounces then um, most of the time the price can vary from seven or eight dollars all the way to twenty dollars depending on where it's going and i don't want to offer twenty dollar free shipping on a lot of things so i choose to have two different templates so i'm going to share my screen and i'm going to show you how i set these things up so that you can do it too Okay, so you're in Seller Central. This is what the shipping template looks like. You can go to the, the top right of your screen and go to settings and then go to shipping settings. And that's what it'll, it will bring up this screen for you here. Now this is my 2020 MF template that I've already set up and it goes by through um, different shipping fees and what I choose to charge. So these are things where this is our, our template I already have. So on the left over here, you can create a new shipping template. And if you create a new one, you don't. You can copy from one that you already have, or you can just create a new one. And if you create a new one, you'll have to give it a name so that your system knows. So this is US template. We're just gonna call this test template. And then it, you can go down here and then you, you can either do price banded or price per weight. I suggest weight based because then you're not, you're, you're, no matter where it's going, you, don't, you can charge a certain amount for it. So you can you uncheck the box that's free economy shipping. So you, are, you can remove that so that you're not charging any free shipping and then you've got standard and expedited. And at this point with expedited, I don't often check that because most of the time it gives you that. I do not offer two day delivery. So I always take that off. That's up to you if you wanna do that. I feel like that's a lot of pressure right now for me to be able to do that. Um, that's of course your choice if you can guarantee that people can order by a certain time and you'll ship the same day. So you can offer expedited shipping or not, and you can create as many of these as you want to. So with these, the regions, you can add a new shipping rule. You can add a new region. Um, you can take regions off. So if you, like someone had asked if there's ways that you don't ship to California, for example, that's an option. So you can go to, for me, it would be West and I could click West or click not West and change all these. I can select regions or all, or you can deselect all and you can choose whichever regions that you want to go to. So I'm shipping to everywhere here. So I'm totally fine with that. Now you, what you order over here is how much per order you want to charge. So if you want to charge a standard $5 plus 50 cents a pound, or a dollar a pound, depending on how heavy your item might be. 
then that can be same and you can decide to ship to PO boxes or not PO boxes depending on the boxes that you check here. You can click edit on the sides here and decide not to ship to certain places. So if I uncheck the West, that means that I won't be shipping to any of these places if you so choose to do that. I know some people have asked, do I have to ship to all the regions? And actually, no, you don't. You can decide that you're not shipping to certain places or not. So you can edit those and then, you know, click OK or click cancel. So, so I'm shipping to all the regions and you can decide again here if you want to do Alaska, Hawaii and Puerto Rico, that's up to you. And then the transit time is also a variable. So you can change it to four to eight days, two to three days. I tend to ship things out same day. So I try to do um, two to four days or three to five because I'm in, I'm in Michigan. So getting to California is almost always going to take four or five days. So you try to want to be in that, that different times there. So I'm, I like standard of $5 or $4.99 for shipping and then 50 cents a pound. And then again, Alaska, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico are going to cost more. So you can, of course, go $2 a pound, $5 a pound, whatever you want to do for specific regions here. Same thing with expedited shipping. You also do not have to offer expedited shipping if you don't want to. So you can click that box or not that box. And then same thing here. Transit time is a variable that you can choose based on your location. I mean, if you're in the middle of the country, it's going to take you the same amount of time to ship something maybe to California as it would to the East Coast, West Coast. And depending on where you're at, you want to adjust this. If you're in California shipping to Nevada, it's going to be one to two days or two to three days. So um, it's quite different. for So your results may vary based on where you're coming from. And of course, you can decide $8.99 or more, $0.99 cents a pound, $0.50 cents a pound, wherever that's going. Um, and so that, that is as simple as setting up the test. So we've got a test here. And then you go ahead and click Save. And then once it comes up, it should be in, you know, might take a few minutes to get there. But then it should be in your shipping templates. So over here, now I have new 2020 MF template, free shipping template, and our test template that we just set up. So. Now, when you want to add a product to um, Merchant Fulfill, you're going to go to Add Offer. You're going to go to this here. Go to Add a Product in Inventory under Add a Product. Add the ASIN or the UPC, and then your item should come up here. And it usually looks like this. You click the box. You say, OK, I can sell mine here. It says sell yours, and you're good. Then you come to this page. Make sure that you go to Advanced View so that you can see all of the options here. And then here's your, here's your shipping template. Sometimes your shipping template will be towards the bottom. I don't know why the form is not exactly the same for every category and every item. Sometimes it's up here, sometimes it's down here. But making sure if you don't see it that the fulfillment channel says, I will ship the item myself. If you're not shipping the item yourself, then that box might not appear. So make sure that that's on. You put the quantity of how many you have for sale, your current price, and then, you know, you, your tax code, of course, goes here, your condition, you create your seller SKU. I know if you guys, you know, there's lots of videos on creating SKUs. We create custom SKUs, which usually has, you know, the date. This is our types of, of custom SKUs we have. We have date, year, month, day, the vendor, how much the item costs, and then we have some acronyms for different things that we use. This one has to be, you know, merchant fulfill something or whatever. So this is the drop down menu that you can pick whether you want to do free shipping, whether you want your, your shipping templates. Now our new one that I just made, the test is not on there. I bet if we refresh, then this will probably come back to our new test. Actually, I'm going to try that. And hopefully it will show our testing. Remember to go to advanced view. And then this should be here. There it is. So now our new testing sh shipment is there. And then you, you do all the things that you need to do, the, your seller SKU, making sure your shipping template's the right one that you want to choose, your price, your quantity. And then once you put all these things in, I'm going to match the low price here. I'm going to put in shipping template here. And then it should be a save and finish. And once you save and finish, your item is now available for sale on Amazon through Merchant Fulfill. If you want to add a condition, like say you have an item at FBA right now, but you want to actually convert one of those to uh, Merchant Fulfill, you do not have to convert the listing you have at Amazon. That can still be for sale FBA, uh, FBA. And then you can change one, you can add one to Merchant Fulfill and it will look very much the same here. All you need to do is go to your inventory, go to that ASIN, and then you click add 
um, add a condition. And if you add a condition, then it will let you create this. It will give you a warning and it will say, you already have this in your inventory, consider editing it. You ignore that, you hit the, I wanna fulfill this item myself, and you change the SKU, and now you have two items available for sale, one FBA and one Merchant Fulfill. So that's as simple as it takes. Now, once you get an order, your orders are going to come in um, through your, your, you have multiple channel fulfillment there. You'll see it in seller fulfilled items and Merchant Fulfill items. When you're looking to Merchant Fulfill an item, make sure you go to your Manage Orders, and then on the right-hand side, it will say View FBA Orders or View uh, Merchant Fulfill Orders or Seller Fulfilled Orders. And at that point, your, your item will come up of what's for sale, what you've sold, and then it'll be time to ship, and you hit Buy Shipping. And when you hit Buy Shipping, then this whole template comes up of your shipping. You have to put the package dimensions in there and the weight, and then it will give you all kinds of options to ship, whether that's priority mail, boxes, or your own priority mail with your own packaging, UPS, FedEx, uh, first class mail, and you, you know, click the one that you want and then you hit um, buy shipping and, it, and you purchase the label, put the label on and then you can go to USPS.com. If it's from the post office, you can schedule a free pickup. They will pick items up from your porch as long as you have at least one priority mail item and you can order up until I think midnight of the same day for them to pick it up from your front porch on the next day or your front porch, your back porch, your box, wherever it actually gives, allows you to give instructions on where you want them to pick it up. So you don't have to leave the house. You don't have to go stand in line at a post office. If it's UPS, if you have a UPS driver coming to your house to deliver a package, for example, you can hand your item to the UPS driver. Of course, social distancing, right? You shouldn't do that. So um, you can put it on their porch. You can also order a pickup. It might cost you money to be able to do that on UPS, depending on what kind of account you have. But there's also ways for you to be able to get that stuff out without you having to um, necessarily pay a lot of money or to be co come in contact with somebody. They can pick it up from your porch. I like to use the priority mail um, boxes as much as possible because it just makes shipping a no-brainer. I know exactly how much it's going to cost. I can come, I can calculate my profit, all that kind of thing. So that makes it easier for me. Um, of course, we all want to save a box, so sometimes it might be better for you. I order supplies like bubble mailers. You can go Uline, you can go e-supply store, you can go the boxery, you can go... Um, UPS has some free stuff if you want to use their things, um, but you have to ship a certain way if you do that. Um, forgetting one, Uline, Bubble Fast, you know, you can even order some of those supplies on Amazon if they're delivering uh, at this time. So there's plenty of ways to be able to get supplies for those things. You just want to check out all of those different resources. So I hope this helps. If you guys have any more questions specifically regarding um, Merchant Fulfilled, you can leave them below this video. Make sure you tag me so that I know um, who's saying what and Happy Merchant Fulfilled. We'll see you next time.